you can see how much more uh, body that this doe has than the other one. You know what I mean? I mean it's just really got a lot more body. So remember that slack doe that we just did the other the, over there? So that bolt really, really made a difference. Do you have another orange scraper? I could probably use the back of this here. I'll trade you. <laughs> All right, so we're doing uh, 1.2 kilos. So now these are going to go straight, uh, made made up completely. So these we're rounding a little bit tighter. So when I round these, I do. I mean, you could do them even one in each hand too. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But basically, you're stretching it out, and if you fold it over past halfway. I do like to touch the, the center a little bit because a, a lot of times you can see it, have a pocket inside there. I just turn it over, pull it, pull it over just a little bit. Same thing, turn it over, pull it over. So yeah, it's, it's, it's stretching itself around the outside. If you want to uh, just give it a, a, a little bit of tuck, then that's pretty much it. So uh, we're going to go upside down in these baskets, just like so. It's a little bit big piece of dough for the basket. It's going to dome up. But uh, that's all I had in stock. So, is there one recorded? Yeah. I think it's all the You know, it's funny how it's, it's really just about it's really about stretching stretching that dough. So you know, again, you know, like I said, you can do it with one hand or you can do it with two. But you know, just flip it over past halfway. A pat, you're turning it 90 degrees. Pat, like a wood table would be best. <laughs> and it's it, see after two turns, I didn't even it's not even rounded, but it, it's round. You know what I mean? So I, one more turn and it's it's almost there. Uh, you can just kind of tuck it and it's done. I like so. Um, so that's the deal. I anybody want to volunteer and jump in and do it? This should be some pretty nice bread. You gonna do it? No, you go ahead. I'll, I'll do the next one. I'll, I'll watch you. He does it with one hand. <laughs> and then hey, tap, pat, pat. <laughs> Good boy. Turn ninety. Yeah. Turn at ninety. Turn ninety, and then half again. So, so are I, we going I, over the top? What, what I kind of do is I kind of... Oh, okay. Okay. And then, there you go. So just kind of stop and take stock where you are, especially with it sticky like it is, okay? Normally I would never do that, but this table's gluing it down. So, yeah, I mean, see how close you are right there? Yeah. So then the other thing is, I know my hands are a little bigger, but you can just pick it up. Mm -hmm. pick, I mean, just by picking it up you're, and kind of pinching it off the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I mean, we. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if I if I was rounding, you know, one in each hand, which I would re require someone to do if they were working on my bakery. <laughs> that's. Um, It's the same. It's the same movement, you know. So you have it. You have to go. You pick it up. You fold it over. You pick them up. You fold them over. You pick them up. You fold them over. And then you can kind of pull them back against the table like that. And, uh, and then, then you got two, two done at the same time. Wow. Can you So, somebody would like to uh, to cut? Mm -hmm. Sure. Do you think? Yeah. How about it? He, he picked it up, turned it over, and showed it, you know. Yeah, it's like, like that. Kind of this big well, I, I understand it, except that. It makes it a lot time, easier to shape it. I understand it. If you keep everything. And you've got the bowl already. All your folds so based on one side. Get out. Absolutely. Kind of go like that. Mm -hmm. So one other, uh, I'm going to drive his point home just for a second. 
is that when, uh, and this is going to be, I'll be really anal when we do the baguettes, because the baguettes, I, I don't even want this amoeba shape. I want perfect squares when we cut the baguette, because I, I want to handle them very, very little. But it's important to, uh, it's important to um, keep the bottom the bottom, right? Because that's, that's going to be the outside of the loaf, right? So we get, uh, we keep the bottom, the bottom, and all the little pieces are going inside. Okay, so we're a little heavy there. So, but then when we uh, when we put it down, so if I was working, we were working on a big bench, I would toss this to you like that. Okay, so we still have the bottom. It's the flour inside, and that's where we get to begin to do the fold. Okay. Right? So and it's nice and smooth after one fold over. Yeah, and so, yeah, exactly. So, okay. He turned it upside down. Yeah. Upside down and then folded over. I know, it doesn't look good physically. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to need a little bit more on the outer edge there. Yeah, we're going to be crying the blues later if that's stuck. So. Yeah. Jesse, you want to round one of these so so they can just see the difference between you and me? Or I actually don't know how you round. <laughs> Free to just right. disrupt yeah. anything I said. Whatever you want. Get some flour in there. Okay. 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 the easiest shape to round is a square. <clears throat> if you can start from that. Oops, Whoa! Oh. That was a good catch. Jedi skills. Nice. Do you see more? Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we're out of we're out of basket. No, we have the one the flowers in, so let's let's use it. Let's uh I'd like to film Jesse doing one of those. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, I said not. I don't know if I. If I Come and bless us with your rounding skills. Okay. I have really dirty fingers right now, so be a good example. So Michael, uh, you did a pound and a quarter, so we'll we end up with the one pound loaf. Is that the idea? Oh, uh, I did one in a kilo or one. Wow, that was spectacular! <laughs> I got it on film. <laughs> oh, you did! Yes, I'm gonna have to watch <laughs> that because I have it on the site. Are you gonna put it on your site? Mm -hmm. You gonna put these films on your mm -hmm. site? <gasps> Oh, that would be awesome. Mine's not as good as yours. <laughs> What's your site? North Side. You just like just pinch it as you go, and that's why yours is poofier than mine. If you, um, it's a lot of flour. Use the friction of the you table. You get their rights. So really, what I always tell people, in slow motion, what you're doing is you're pressing it against the table. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're sort of rolling it like that. So by using the friction of the table, you're tucking the seam underneath. Mm -hmm. You know what, we're, I'm going to use those. And then your other hand just sort of guides it. Yeah, cool. And then it's tighter. <laughs> Somebody just use our oven, so you know what? Yeah.